nice cool morning. Looks like it might sprinkle on me a little bit. I get some rain today. Uh, I woke up to some turkeys in my camp, so that was pretty cool. Uh, but now I'm making breakfast, boiling up some water so that uh, have me some oatmeal. Um, also to purify the water. You know, Colorado water is usually pretty clear at higher elevations, but uh, cattle roll this area. We got mountain lion, bear, and turkeys, and all sorts of wildlife. So it's always a good idea to purify your water if you can. Um, I got my Sawyer water filter. Uh, that'll get 99.8% .8 of bacteria, uh, but it's always better, best if you can boil your water. So I'm gonna boil up uh, water. I boiled some last night, but uh, for today, just getting ready, get prepared for the day. So that's it for now. Uh, talk to you in a bit. So 40 degrees today. Woke up this morning. A little bit of, a little bit of drizzle. It's overcast. It's cold. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock, and it's still in the 40s. Not very conducive to rattlesnake hunting. So I'm just going to go on an adventure, walk up this valley and see what we can find. I hear uh, turkeys gobbling all around me. So we got see the, the, the turkeys this morning. Um, we got fish and all the predators. So there's lots out here to see. I'm just going to go go for a walk and see if I can't find more. Just have a little adventure. It's nice getting out. Uh, getting outside, getting away from it all. And uh, It's nice because I can go back out in an area where I'm not too familiar with. And just a little day pack and feel pretty comfortable even with knowing there's predators around. You know, I got Striker, he's always with me. Um, just keep my head on a swivel and make sure I'm paying attention to everything that's around me. But uh, my plan is to, to head out that way, find a place to cross this stream, and then just go check things out. So from down below, see some mine tailings, some old mine tailings. So walked up here and that's what I got. Who knows what's in there? So I'm not gonna get too close knowing there's bears and mountain lions in the area. So I'm gonna continue on, see what else I can find. Striker doesn't seem to be too spooked. So, just keep moving. Didn't see any sign. Stream is down below me. So another hundred yards away from that last tunnel, kept on moving across the hillside and found another bunch of mine tailings here. Pretty good size, which means there's something to be seen. This, my friends, is another adventure for another day. Check it out. We got a tunnel, an old barrel, some 
Timber's holding it up. Some loose rock. So I'd assume that those came down from above. But uh, imagine there's bats in there. And the bad thing about these old mine shafts, you know, they could potentially have dynamite in them. Old dynamite is really unstable. The roof could collapse at any time. Um, and also there's mine shafts pits that go straight down. So if you're not cautious, you could plummet 20, 30, 40,000 feet. And that'd be the end of you. Without anybody in my, my party, just me and Stryker, going into something that like that could be very dangerous. Um, if I got trapped, you know, there's nobody that knows where I'm at. Nobody could find me. And this is a pretty remote area, hard to find, just dangerous. So if you're by yourself and you find something cool like this and you want to go investigate, don't come back with a friend at a later date. Um, and really be cautious, even if you do go in there, because those things are unstable and you never know what's going to happen. But I'm going to continue on up the valley like I intended and uh, see what else we can find. I made a bad decision earlier crossing the stream way down below. I've got uh, a rock cliff blocking my path, so I don't have to get back over. Um, I managed to find a good place before, probably about uh, three quarters of a mile down, where I could get across without getting wet. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get as lucky this time, but I'm going to backtrack a little ways uh, to a less deep place. That pool of water looks like it's about six feet deep. Great place for catching fish, bad place for wading across. The stream out here next to me is a couple feet deep, so unless I wanted to set down to my skivvies, I'm gonna get wet. But I'm gonna go back the other way a little ways and see what I can find across. So no decent place to cross. I've gone down quite a ways. Um, it's just more and more deeper water, faster rushing or I've got a slower moving portion right here, um, which would probably be my safest bet unless I walk you know, long ways back downstream. Um, I don't wanna get anything wet, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, shed off my boots, and my socks, and my pants, and wade across this. Uh, for your sake, I won't re record it, but I'm gonna get across this right here uh, make sure everything's secure on me so nothing gets wet. 
Otherwise, you know, you'd have to end your trip, could potentially have to end your trip if you did fall in the water. Uh, 40 degrees, it is drizzling a little bit. Uh, hypothermia is very real right now. So if I were in this water for a long amount of time and I couldn't warm up and I was completely soaked, say I fell in the stream, my best bet would be to stop and hunker down and warm up and dry off. But I'm going to shed my layers so those don't get wet. That way when I can get across on the other side, I can dry off and then hopefully continue on. So we'll judge it when I get across the stream and see if I want to continue on today, especially with the, the drizzle coming in a little bit more. I um, have to really assess things, assess my situation and uh, see if I want to go. Alrighty guys, I'm stripped down to my skivvies below the waist. Got my boots around my neck, my pants and my backpack. I'm gonna plunge into that water. Um, right here is the best spot. It looks like where it's sandy going in. The water is ice cold. I got no cactus around me, so my feet are, are safe. No sharks or barracudas, I hope. Yeah, that's cold, cold. So, you know, it's 40 degrees out here. This water's chilly. It hurts my feet being in the water. So, you know, don't want to be in this for very long and want to dry off as quickly as possible as, as you get out. Um, I'm already out through. Uh, looks like I'm going to try to get up to that rock so I can sit down. The drizzle's really starting to come in now. So I think you know, after being out here for a little while, you know, today was just a quick little walk. I think I'm going to call it quits. Um, I probably could continue on, but I'll save it for another day. Uh, you know, sometime that the weather's nice and I can enjoy it more. But, you know, ego gets us, the best of us out here a lot of times. That's what gets people in trouble. I know I can continue on, but some very little thing, especially being out here by myself, could cause you know a lot of problems, a lot of grief, and I might not make it home. So, you know, with the weather crappy and knowing that looks like I'm gonna be scrambling over rocks, uh, I'm just gonna wait for a better day. You know, there's always tomorrow to come out here. So check your ego. You know, when you get out of your car. And uh, if you feel like it's not going to be good for you to continue on, especially by yourself, just call it a day and head back to camp. And that's what I'm going to do. So thanks for joining me on my little mini adventure. Uh, hopefully next time we'll push on through. It'll be a nicer day and you'll see more. Again, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.